the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to back up your fake package files using PlayStation 4 Explorer which is basically a file manager for your PlayStation 4 so I'm gonna go straight into the tutorial and state the things you need so you need a modern PlayStation 4 whether it be from version 1.76 4.05 4.55 or 5.05 today I'm using my PlayStation Pro that's on 5.05 and also you need a USB drive formatted to FAT32 or XFAT I like to recommend that anybody that is messing with any PlayStation 4 PKGs, especially for this um, tutorial, and let, uh, since we're going to be trying to back up our games, to go ahead and format your drive to XFAT, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. And the only reason why I suggest that is due to the fact that um, PlayStation 4 package files are way over 4 gigabytes, like games like Final Fantasy 15, anything like Gran Turismo Sport, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 for example those games are way over you know the 4 gigabyte cap so you basically also want a, a USB drive or maybe a USB HDD that's uh, well over or at least the minimum of 64 gigs if you know you want to go ahead and back up a lot of games but from this method I'll show you so as on the screen here as you see we have uh, three files basically I have a link in the description on where to get this file from so you have the PlayStation 4 Explorer beta uh, PKG right here now all you want to do is once you have that downloaded go ahead into your USB drive and I'll show you how to format it real quick so mine's is on XFAT that's how you check by going into properties by right clicking but if you also right click go to format and you look in file system you have these three options if your things are NTFS go ahead and switch it to XFAT in this case for this tutorial and then basically if you do have anything on your flash drive make sure to um, back it up either on another USB drive or to your PC if it's just like you know small files like this due to the fact once you format your hard drive and then hit quick format and press start you'll get this error right here that says uh, formatting will really erase all your data on your disk so if you do care about certain files make sure always to back up and that's usually the general consensus when backing up files on a USB when you're trying to format so make sure you guys you know get that out the way in this case once you know your USB is on XFAT or FAT32 in this case make sure to use XFAT for this video go ahead and put your PKG up here or just copy it over I already did that so right now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and transfer back over to the PlayStation 4 and I'm gonna show you guys on how to basically back up your games by using this uh, program so I'll meet y'all guys there alright guys so we back on the PlayStation 4 now what you want to do is, is go ahead and open this or open up your web browser and then go to your URL search bar and then type in http semicolon slash slash playstation dev dot wiki slash x index dot html so we, we can run x project now what you want to do once you have that uh, website booted up go ahead and hit l1 to run up the hen 1.8 payload basically so we can install our pkg file also make sure that your usb drive is on your um, playstation 4 or inside your playstation 4 and then you want to go ahead and scroll down all the way to debug settings go to game and go in the package installer and then now you should see your PlayStation 4 Explorer beta PKG I already had it installed in my PlayStation 4 but just for this tutorial since it doesn't take too long to install I'll show you guys and then I'm gonna teach you guys on how to you know find your games and also how to copy and what notifications to look for once your game is done copying and all that stuff so once your um, package file gets back onto your main menu go ahead and enter it go ahead and click update later and then let it do its thing for a little while you may get an option asking when you uh, first start uh, you know 
what firmware you're on, go ahead and just go through that uh, little task. Since it may ask you if you're on 5.05, 4.05, or whatever, go ahead and just click that, and then you should get back onto the main menu. So what you now want to do is go ahead and use your D-pad, scroll all the way down, or you can use your analog stick. You want to go into user, and then now what you want to do is go ahead into app. Well, you see all of like the Q or CUSA games and the bunch of numbers. Those are basically your content IDs for your game. So these are basically your games for your PlayStation 4, and I'll show you real quick. So if you hover over app PKG, it will show you the actual game name and some of its uh, like the title ID, the system version, if the game has remote play, and all of those like you know uh, details and information about the game. In this case, I'm going to choose one of uh, my games right here. Let me see. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, we're going to test out Galaga for today since this game is only like 100 megabytes. And I'm going to show you guys on how to copy this package file over. Or this works for any method. So, for example, if I were to do uh, Nitro Blasters right here and wanted to copy it over, I'll sh it's literally the same method. But in this case, since to make the tutorial pretty short, and this game doesn't take too long to copy over. This is the reason why I'm doing this method. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and hit triangle. Go ahead and hit copy. And then on your D-pad, if you still have your USB in, you want to go ahead and toggle over to your USB drive. So you use left and right to basically uh, try to find your USB. So either your thing, if it's on the left side of your PlayStation 4 near the disk drive, if you have a yeah, PS4 Pro, um, you'll it'll be USB zero. If you have your USB drive into the right slot, farther away from the uh, disk drive in your PlayStation 4, it'll be in USB one. But now all you want to do is once you get to USB zero or USB one, depending on where did you uh, put your USB thumbstick or hard drive in, all you got to do is hit triangle again and paste. Now your thing should be copying over. Depending on you know the file size, it may take longer, it may take you know quicker depending on since the game I have like games like Minecraft, the old little arcade archive games, um, they won't take too long. But if you're doing Red Dead Redemption, for example, and if you're doing I don't know Grand Theft Auto 5, those games take long. You should hear like a little notification detailing that your thing has uh, installed over to your USB zero. And then as you see, if you click on it now, you can see that arcade or my game is basically on my uh, USB drive. And I'll show you real quick that the game will still run. So as you see here, uh, arcade game series Galica is on my uh, PlayStation 4. I deleted it. If I go to my settings, all the way down to debug settings, game, package installer, and then this dot our app dot PKG. It's going to reinstall Galaga. So that's one way on how to transfer and also on how to install games using this method back again. So there you go. And just for test purposes, I'll run Galaga to show you guys that this game is fully bootable. And either if you want to put your games off and, you know, use apps USB or if you want to do the method as of just having your games back on your PC or on another hard drive for safekeeping. That's one way on how to do that. So as you see here, Galaga is booting up and I can play through it. With that being said, my name is Nagato and thank you guys for watching.